Always the three pins means source and the pin number four is the gate and the other pins is drain. You should choose this option, the buzzer. So these three pins should be connected together because the first one and the second and the third is connected together. This is source. So let's check it out. So I will put this probe here and the second here. Okay. So the, the first pin and the second are connected together. Let's check the third one. Also the third one. Let's check with the gate, the fourth. No, no connection, no buzzer. But these three, as you see, are connected together. So this is pin number five, okay? Six, seven. And also here we have a point, a white point. Okay, that means this is the pin number one. See, so pin number two, three, four, five, etc. Okay, so this sign means pin number one. So, okay. here, as you can see, this is many ICs here, as you see. This is an IC, so this is another IC, this is another IC, this is another, okay? So for this, this is not ICs, this is MOSFET, okay? So here we have another IC, as you see. So if you focus here, okay? In this IC, we have here a point or a hole. And also here we have a point, a white point, okay? That means this is the pin number one. All ICs have the same working principle. Always the pin number one is marked with a sign, okay? So let's see this big IC. As you see over here, so as you see, we have here a hole, okay? This is a small hole, and here also we have a white point. But in other sides, we don't have any point, also we don't have any hole here. We have here a small hole, means this is pin number one, two, three, four, etc. So the reading is in counterclockwise, okay, in the counterclockwise, okay, in this direction, okay. So all ICs have this point next to the pin number one, okay. So for this IC also, as you see, okay, so we have this hole over here and we have here pin or a white dot here means pin number one okay and the same principle for all ICs okay so here this is MOSFETs okay this is MOSFETs not ICs and the MOSFETs as you see has eight terminals or eight pins as you see so as you see also here we have a small hole and we have a white dot means this is pin number one pin number two three four five six seven and eight so always the three pins means source and the pin number four is the gate and the other pins is drain okay so as you see here this is the symbol of mosfet okay if we draw this is a mosfet okay so this is gate okay and let's assume that here we have okay three pins connected together okay so this is source and here also we have four pins connected together okay so so this is the first pin okay this is gate as you see and here this is the source so three pins connected together so this is source okay and here as you see this is the drain okay so four pins okay connected together this is drain Okay, so 
the first pin we have the hole here and the white dot here so this is the pin number this is pin one two three this is pin four always the pin number four is the gate so we have five six seven and eight okay so let's check in the motherboard we will check the pin number one two and three we will find using the multimeter a buzzer or a continuity and here we have pin number four is isolated from this pin and here also we have four pins five six seven eight connected together so using the multimeter we should hear a buzzer and a continuity okay so let's check it out all this in the motherboard so as you can see here okay let's focus in this mosfet we have here a sign or a small hole okay and also here we have a white dot that means this is the pin number one and the pin number two and pin number three so this is these three are source so let's check it out using the multimeter okay so let's put the motherboard here and the multimeter here okay so always you should in the multimeter you should choose this option as you see here you should choose this option the buzzer and then press the power button okay so <coughs> let's check the continuity using the two probes so the continuity is good so let's check this mosfet as you see here so these three pins should be connected together because the first one and the second and the third is connected together this is source so let's check it out so i will put this probe here and the second here okay so the the first pin and the second are connected together let's check the third one also the third one let's check with the gate the fourth no no connection no buzzer but these three as you see are connected together so this is source and this is gate and the other pins as you see here four pins should be connected together so i will put one pin here so this is pin number five okay six seven so all these pins are connected together and and not connected to the gate and source as we see so let's check another mosfet so let's check this mosfet so these three pins as you see pin number one two three this is the pin number one because we have here a white dot okay these three pins should be connected together and we have here gate and dots for here is the drain so let's check these pins so we have the pin this two pin are connected together what about this also connected together but the gate should not be connected to this the gate is connected to this so the gate is connected to these three source so maybe the mosfet is failed or maybe the mosfet is connected to a line maybe it is a mosfet connected to a data line for maybe maybe to ram or something like that so to confirm if this mosfet is bad or not we should remove it from the motherboard and then test it if we hear a buzzer between the source and drain that means this mosfet is bad and also we should measure here in the multimeter a low resistance about 000 or 001 or 002 okay so i want to add that always avoid to put the read probe in the gate because if you put the read probe in the gate you will charge this mosfet and when you try to take measurement the source and gate or the gate and drain can give you a continuity okay so always avoid to put the read probe in the gate okay